Beruchim Haboim, welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezra Hashem together on the Pei Aleph, Amir Aleph, at the very top, the new Mishnah. Our Mishnah continues to bring various items and their Shi'urim to be liable for Meleches Hoitzol. Says the Mishnah Etzem, they used to have bones and they used the bones as a material to make various Kalim. So Etzem is Kedei Laaso Tarva, to make a spoon. Rabbi Yehuda Oimer, Kedei Laso is Mimenu Chof. Rabbi Yehuda argues and says the minimum size of taking out a bone would be making a lock. Zechuchis says the Mishnah glass, Kedei Legror Boy Roish HaKarkar. A karkar was the stick that was used to disentangle the thread on the loom. And therefore, the end was sharpened. It was a wooden piece. And therefore, it was sharpened by the zechuchis. The amount of zechuchis to, to, in order to then sharpen that end would be mechaiv, a person from Meleches Hoitzol. Tzror oy even, a stone or a pebble, k'day lizroik ba'oyv, the Tanakhama says to throw and scare away a bird. Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov oymer, k'day lizroik ba'behema, he argues and he says, no, for a bird, it's enough to make a noise and scare the bird away. Therefore, the minimum size of a stone or a pebble is larger, whereby it will then scare away an animal, like a cow, in order to then cause it to move away. Says the Gemara asking the following question, because we said in the Mishnah that in regards to an etzem, Rabbi Yudah is arguing on the Tanakhama. And he says, a lock, which seems to imply a bigger shiur than the etzem, that is to make a tarvad, to make a spoon. Ask the Gemara, lememra di shiuro, the Rabbi Yehuda nafish. Does that mean to say that the shiur of Rabbi Yehuda is greater? Hokai molan di shiur di Rabbonin nafish. We established that the shear of the Rabban is greater. The Mishnah on Daf Ayin Ches, we brought three different examples, three different Machloikesin, where Rabbi Yehuda is more Machmir. The first one is in regards to the Chevel and the Gemi, where Rabbi Yehuda is more Machmir, and he says over there it's a smaller shear, that which you can measure the size of a child's foot. Then in regards to the broken brick, he says over there that it's a smaller shear than the Tanakama. And therefore he says when it comes to that which we say is the Charsis, he says in order to then fix the tripod. And thirdly, we saw that when it comes to Sid, smearing Sid on the body, the Tanakama, although he says that it's in order to put on a small finger of a girl, he says it's even a smaller shear, that which you put on the temples. And therefore, over here, ask the Gemara, Rabbi Yehuda should be machmir, not more mekil in the shear. Answers the Gemara, we misunderstood Rabbi Yehuda. Omar ulo chafei poitachas. It's not referring to the whole lock, but rather the teeth of the lock, which is just part of that lock inside, and that is smaller than the shear of a tarvad of a spoon. Says the Gemara, bringing the following brice, the Toner Abbanon, Chafei Potachas Tahoirin. In regard to the, sh- to the teeth of this inner part of the lock, so that itself does not makabel tuma before it's put and attached to the lock because it's not going to be a kli to makabel tuma. Kavon be potachas tmein. However, if you then fixed it upon the lock, now it has the form, it's considered to be a kli. Because although itself may not be a something that's makabel tumah, there's just the teeth of this lock. But just like mateches is 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 pshute kli mateches is makabel tumah, so too when it comes to the etzem, it's also makabel tumah. The shelgal in regards to a gate afa pishe chibron bedeles, even though you attach it to the deles, the kavom masmarim tahorim. Because here, since it's going to be attached to the ground, even though you've put nails into the deles, but it's going to be attached to the ground, she call it mechube lekarka, hareikwe karka, and therefore it's not mechabil tumah. The Mishnah said, zechuchis, the minimum of shi, according to the Tanakhama, is, kede, or according to everybody, there's no machloikis, kedei ligror boy roish hakarkar. The Bar means that, b'raisa tano, zechuchis, 
Zechukis and Sechukis are the same thing. It means glass. Kedei liftsoya boshnei nimin ka'achas. If there are two threads, two hairs, it can cut them off at the same time. And therefore, that's the size of the glass that we're talking about. And that comes out to be the same size that we mentioned in the Mishnah as sharpening the head of the karkar. Tzror oy evin kedei lizroik. Ba'oif, Rabbi Eliezer's Choylek, says the Gemara, Om Rabbi Yaakov, Om Rabbi Yoichanon, asking, V'hu kishem margaret, it says the Gemara, V'hu shem margesh, shem ba, that the behema, according to the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer and Yaakov, has to be a tzror or a stone, <clears throat> a pebble or a stone, that will then cause the behema to be effective, to then run away, to walk away. So he comments over here in the name of Yoichanon that Shemar Geshes Bo, that has to land on the animal that he'll be affected, he'll be bothered by it, and thereby, because of the market, it will then flee. Vekama Shi'uroi, what is that measurement that we're talking about of this Tzror or Evan? Tanya, Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov, Oy Mishkal Asara Zuz, is the weight of 10 Zuz. The Goran brings the following. <clears throat> Zoynin Ol Lebe Midrash, his name was Zoynin, he came to the Beis HaMedrash, Omar Lehu, he said to the Chachomim in the Beis HaMedrash, Raboy Sai, Avonim Shel Beis HaKisei Shi'uron Bekama, when a person wants to bring out stones for the Beis HaKisei, what is the Shi'urim for that? Omru Loi, they said to him, Kazayis Ke'egoiz Uka Beitzo, because when they would wipe themselves with these stones, they would start with a small one, to take out whatever was necessary, and then the bigger one, and then finally a bigger one, the size of a kezayis, then bigger than that, kezayis, the size of a keegois, and then bigger than that, kebeitzo. Omar Luhu, he said to them, ki tardinu yachnis, are you going to bring also a scale to measure the stone? Nimnu v'gomru meloi hayad, they decided and concluded that indeed the uh, amount of sh the shear for bringing stones out to the base hakisei would be maloyad to fill one's hand up. A handful of stones. Tanya the Gemara brings the following b'raisa, Rabbi Yoisi Oimer, kazayis keegos uka beitza. Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Yoisi Oimer, mishum oviv, moloy hayad, melo hayad. So that's indeed the opinion that we saw before after it was changed. But initially they said like the Tanakama. Ton Rabbanon Gimel Avonim Murkuzolois Mutar Lahachni Zabes HaKisei There are three stones that were used, had a, a certain sharpness to them that they were used in order to then bring them to the base HaKisei and clean themselves with. Vekama Shi'uron What is the Shi'uron? <clears throat> Rabbi Meir Oimer Ke'egoiz Rabbi Yudha Oimer Ka'beitzo Machlok is Tanoim in regards to this, here we're talking about where in regards to not Meleches Hoitzo, but rather if a person, let's say, would go into the Chatzir, in regards to the Muktza Sheboi, what is the amount of size stones can he bring that are Avonim Murkuzolois? Again, the Tanakamo said that is Keegos, that's Rabbi Meir's opinion, Rabbi Yehuda's Chodig is Kebeitza. Omar Raphim Bar Papa, Omar Rav Chizdo, Kemachloikes Khan. The same machlokes in Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yehuda in regards to this Merkolis, Avonim Merkolis, Kuzolos, that is say, the same machlokes in regards to an Esroig, that in the Esroig we also have the same machlokes if the minimum shear that is permissible to use for the mitzvah of Dalit, meaning for the Esroig, one says that it's going to be the size of a nut, while the other one says the size of a Beitza, kebeitza. Says the Gemara, Hasa Masnison, Hocha Brice, in regards to the Esrog, it's more authoritative. It's a Mishnah. And here it's in regards to a Brice, which is less known and less authoritative. Ella answers the Gemara, Kemachloikis be Esrog, Kach Machloikis Khan. That which is established and known in the Mishnah as being a Machloikis regards to the minimum size of an esrog, that is also the way to remember the machloik is over here, Gabedi's avonim. 
Omar of Yehuda ma of Aloy es ha pois. He says, but not ha pois. Ask the Gemara, what is this? My ha pois. Omar Rabbi Zeiro kashini bavloiso. These are clumps of dirt of the Babylonians. Lav Davka, those from Bavil, but it was called that, it's referring to their soil had clumps in it, and therefore one cannot use that in order to wipe himself. A person cannot can touch the, 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 the rectum area in order to facilitate him to go to the bathroom like he does during the week, like he does during the week, he cannot do that on Shabbos. Ask the Gemara. If he has to do that, it's because it's for medicinal purposes. It means that he's stuck. Ask the Gemara. You're going to make it so that he holds himself back from then being able to then go to the bathroom. That's dangerous. That's a sakana. Answers the Gemara. What he meant to say is yad. He has to do it with a shinui. He can't do it the regular way. Instead of holding the small pebble with his thumb and his forefinger, he would have to hold it between two fingers, which would be a valid shinui. If there's a mokom kavua that's considered to be a place where there's a base hakise, they would go to the bathroom, then meloi hayad, then he can take out the handful of stones. However, im lav, if not, it's just a one-time place and therefore wouldn't be just used for this, it wouldn't be just used for again, it would be just a one-time usage. Then, kehechreya, then it would be, then the size that is a middle size, not the kezayis and not the kebetah, but rather the nut. Vait in the Gemara, meducha kitana shel besamim. A meducha kitana, a stone that was used in order to then smash herbs. And they want to then use this for cleaning purposes, for wiping oneself. If it was then used once before, then obviously it will become then disgusting for the purpose of mashing herbs, and therefore it will be mutter to then take out and be used for the Beis HaKise. Meisve asked the Gemara, it was used once before as an aid, a testimonial, that it was used before, asked the Gemara, that implies that it was used before and one can use it again. There are ten different things that bring a person to hemorrhoids. And these are the following. One who eats the leaves of reeds. And the leaves of grapevines. And the shoots of the grapevine. And the unsalted unsmooth parts of the uh, bosar of the meat of the animal, like the tongue. The shidroi shall dog and the skeleton of a fish. The dog maliach shall obishel koltsarkoi and salted fish that has not been cooked completely. The hashoi se shimre yayin, one who drinks the sediments of wine. And the last three of this list says one who wipes himself with lime, with charosis, and with tzror, and with a small pebble, this is going to bring to hemorrhoids, which implies that if he has indeed used this before, this will be a problem. <clears throat> Because it says that Shekinech Bochaver, his friend used it before, you can't use it again. It'll cause hemorrhoids. Vyesh Oymen, the 11th item, according to Yesh Oymen, is after Toile, Ha Toile Atma Beis the one who squats in the Beis Hakise instead of sitting down. Answers the Gemara, Lokashio, it's not a contradiction. Hodel Blach Hobayavish. That which it says that brings the hemorrhoids is when it's still moist. Whereas that we said that it's an A that can be used again <clears throat> is because it already dried up. Alternatively, you can answer the contradiction as follows. 
that the, that which it says brings hemorrhoids is talking about using the same side. That which you said is an aid to be used again is talking about on the other side. The boys aim a third yishuv is hadidei v'had That which it says brings hemorrhoids is talking about his friends. That is chaveroi. That which is permissible as an aid is talking about that which he himself used. Ask the Gemara the following question: Omalei Abay l'Rav Yosef Yardu Ale Geshomim V'Nishdatcheshu Mahu. If rain fell on this stone and then smeared out, smeared off the whatever was left on the stone after wiping, Mahu, what's the din? Omalei Rav Yosef answers Abay the following: Im Hayari Shuman Nicker Muter. If there's a little bit of a rishum, that you can, a traces that are left, then indeed it's mutter, it will not be used then as a maducha, somebody then is going to smash herbs again because it's disgusting. Otherwise, it's going to be osir.